and we're back uh same thing as always if you haven't subscribed please subscribe i'm not asking out of like self-gain i'm asking because it supports a good cause because i'm learning um once i hit 500 subscribers and i monetize channel proceeds are going to go towards my support group so if you want to help good cause so uh, yeah please subscribe thank you are we ready Lionheart's a coward because of the Wizard of Oz. After you, Your Grace, are you there? Hello, Leonardo. Do you have something to report? Of course, ma'am. I would not waste your time if not. I'm still just so fascinated by this creature. Uh, Cinder, dear, are, are we coming through? Can you see us clearly? Well, as clearly as you can. Shut up. Oh, goody. You've recovered. Your report. What is it? I've... I've found the Spring Maiden. Is that so? Well done. Arthur, had I known how useful you'd be in expediting this process, I would have sent you long, long ago. As much as I'd love to take credit, ma'am, I can't say that either of us have to thank for this development. I guess you could say a little birdie told us. Explain. You see, ma'am, Crow Broadway arrived at Haven Academy earlier today. He believes Spring has taken residence with his sister's tribe. Is the girl with him? Yes, Miss Rose was in attendance. And you know of the tribe's location? Yes, ma'am. But you have to hurry. Crow is already at odds with my... Leonardo, do you remember the first time we met? I remember. I remember your fear, but since that day, you've been extraordinarily brave. I won't forget all that you've done for me. Do not forget everything I can do to you. Cinder, you and your team will meet with Dr. Watts and together convince Raven Bronwyn that the survival of her people depends on her cooperation. Once you have Spring under control, escort her to the Relic and contact Hazel. The White Fang was promised the destruction of Haven, and they'll have it once we have what we need. Understood. Not you, Arthur. Tyrion's in need of a new tale. What happened to his old one? Guess. The silver-eyed girl. Mm. It will be done. Good. Seems Crow was right, Lionheart. The students aren't pushovers. You're free to speak your mind. I don't understand. Working with bandits? Keeping Ruby alive? What's the point? We're strong enough to take what we want by force. Never underestimate mm. the usefulness of others. Take Leonardo. The truest statement I ever he heard. one of Ozpin's most trusted. And yet now... Hmm. You will have the power I promised you when the time is right. Everything's but purple remember now. That it comes with a cost. If Ruby Rose has learned to harness her gift, then you must take care to protect yours. There's only so much I can do to aid you. A 
And Cinder, before you go, inform Tyrion that I wish to have a word with him. I mean, Salem's a pretty intimidating vi uh, villain, I think. Matsu's floating islands. The gravity dust that forms in these things has given us a little turbulence. Nothing I can't handle, but the islands sometimes hide some nasty grim. I'm just betting on our friends in distress, keeping them preoccupied. Look out! Huh? You've got to be kidding me. By the gods, we lost Percy! Help! They're B Grim? Weiss didn't get much uh, screen time in, in Season 4, but what she did get was phenomenal. So I'm glad they're making this interesting here. Yeah, that makes sense. Her weapon uses dust. Oh, they home. very exciting fight scene this is actually a very boring fight scene oh can you find a pair of islands we can fit between Kid, you are reading my mind They just so happenly landed on him. Yeah, great going, kid. We are in the clear. <laughs> one big one left. Dude, 
something! Did I kill it? I can see the shoreline. God, we're not gonna make it. Why doesn't she use this later on? Pretty good. That was a good idea using uh, I'm not the pulses, the glyphs, to slow him down. So I want you to listen when I tell you that the White Fang will not attack Haven Academy. Hi, Leader Khan. I am begging you. You should beg for forgiveness and nothing else. The assault you led on Beacon was not the great victory you clearly think it was. And you should be grateful your punishment wasn't more severe. You are a symbol for many in our organization, but that doesn't make you infallible. I was merely trying to follow your example, High Leader. And what example might that be? Strength. Strength and unwavering conviction. The humans have seen that strength now. I was one of the first to suggest violence where violence was necessary. Peace bred complacency, an acceptance of our place in the world. I will not allow humanity to push us down without pushing them back. But the destruction of the Huntsman Academies crosses a line. The loss of the CCT has brought global communication to a crawl, and the White Fang is more of a target now than ever before. You have justified humanity's campaign against us. And for what? Empty promises from a group of humans? Humans we still know nothing about, and come and go as they please. These are not examples of strength, Adam. They are examples of your talents being diminished by short-sightedness. If you want to know more about the humans, then why not talk to one of them yourself? Hazel! <laughs> Took you long enough. What is this? Apologies. I don't mm. aim to cause any trouble. You've brought a human to this location? You should hear what he has to say. This is grounds for execution. Ma'am. Please. Nobody needs to die today. I'm just asking for a moment of your time. The longer you stay here, the less of a chance you have of leaving alive. I'll take those chances, if you don't mind. You don't like me. You have no reason to like me. 
But you don't have to like me to get the results you want. I'm starting to doubt either of you fully comprehend what it is that I want. I want humanity to fear the Faunus, to know that we demand respect. I do not want to start a war with the humans that we cannot win. That's where you're wrong. We can win a war against the humans. Not only because we have the support of Hazel's master, but because the Faunus are the dominant species of this planet. We're better than humans. We have everything humans have and more. Hazel's master. Humans shouldn't just fear the Faunus. They what kind of support the were they faunus. wondering? I've had enough of this conversation for tonight. Guards, take them away. I said, take them away. I will admit, Sienna, you were right about my popularity. My followers in Vale already see me as the true high leader, and many here in Mistral feel the same. What are you doing? What's right for the Faunus? From this day forward, I will be the one to lead the White Fang. Ooh, I wasn't ready for that. If you think I'll just step aside and follow beneath you, you're wrong. I know. Thank you, Sienna. You were there when our people needed you, but they need me now. I'm sorry you couldn't see this through to the end. Give our former leader a proper burial. All who were here tonight will claim that Sienna was murdered by a human huntsman. Sienna Khan will become a martyr for our cause. Her final act as High Leader. Okay. When were you planning on telling me about that? This was my business, not yours. It's our business now. And I don't appreciate you withholding things like that. Your master was concerned with Sienna's willingness to cooperate. Now she doesn't have to be. Nobody needed to die today. I disagree. Man, Adam... It's... When true on villain, then, huh? Hey, I forgot why he fell down. Help! Please! What do you think? I think. We just hit the jackpot. I, I remember Frick, I remember Yang running into Wise. I definitely remember some some reason and I guess that's why. Okay. Yeah, I didn't have much to say on that episode. It was fine. Didn't expect Adam to do that. Oh, uh, did I expect Adam to be the, you know, takeover as leader of the White Fang? Yeah. I just didn't think it would happen so quickly. Um, and they didn't really go over with Oscar at all, so hoping for that next time. So yeah, if you're interested in what's going on, catch with me next time. Um, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow.